Hi everyone, it's Suey. Today I'm going to talk about Newbery Award winning books. So at book club the other day, a couple of people were talking about how it's been their goal for the last couple years or so to read all the Newbery award winning books. And it made me wonder how many of them I've already read. That's a lot of books to go through right now. We're going to try and do it really fast. And I've actually printed up a hard copy of all the books. It includes the honor books, which I'm going to ignore right now, even though it's going to be painful because I know I've read a lot of the honor books, but I'm not counting them right now. I'm feeling like I'm thinking that I've read more than I've actually read. So I'm going to be sad in the end that it's not a better number than I think it is. And it's going to make me, like I said, want to go and read them all. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes down here. Follow along. Get your little pen out. Make a little mark every time we get to one that you have read so that you can tell me in the comments at the end how many you have read also. First year that the Newbery Award was given out. And I looked it up what this meant and it said something like, it's for the most distinguished contribution to American literature for children. And the American Library Association gives it out, I think. American Library something. Oh, I'm sorry, I have cat issues. Okay. They came up with it in 1921. And so the first winner was 1922, which is The Story of Mankind by Hendrik Wilhelm Van Loon. I have not ever heard of this one. And in 1923, it was The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. I have not read that one. Have I? This is one of those ones where you're like, I know the story. Everybody knows the story, but it's because of the movies probably and not necessarily the book. Oh gosh, why does the kitty need to, need to be noisy right now? 1924, The Dark Frigate by Charles Hawes. Nope, have not heard of that one. 1925, Tales from Silver Lands by Charles Finger. I have not. 1926, Shen of the Sea by Arthur Bowie Chrisman. I haven't read that one. 1927, Smokey, The Cow Horse by Will James. Hmm. 1928, Gay Neck, The Story of a Pigeon by Dan Goppel McCurgy. Interesting title. I don't know if that one would go over very well these days, huh? So yes, many of these early ones, I don't think I read. I'm telling you when it gets into about the seventies, that's when I'll catch on to this. Trump, 1929, The Trumpeteer of Krakow by Eric P. Kelly. No. The 1930, Hitty, Her First Hundred Years by Rachel Field. Nope. The Cat Who Went to Heaven, Elizabeth Co Goatsworth, Coatsworth. Elizabeth Coatsworth, that's the 1931. A 1932 Waterless Mountain by Laura Adams Armour. Still no. I'm wondering if my if my mom read any of these ones. 1933 Young Fu, the Upper Yangat, Yang, uh, the Upper, the Upper, the Upper Yangatsi. I don't know how to say. It. I know it's a river. I don't know how to say it. It's, my mind went completely blank. When if you say it for me, I'll be like, oh yeah, right. By Elizabeth Lewis. Okay, 1934, Invincible Louisa, The Story of the Author of Little Women by Cornelia Meggs. I might have read this one. I feel like I've read this one when I was a kid because I, I wanted to learn about Louisa May Alcott so bad. So I'm gonna say yes, I should check on that though. 1935, Dobry by Monica Shannon, have not heard of that one. 1936, Caddy Woodlawn by Carol Ryrie Brink. Nope, it's not ringing a bell either. Um, 1937, Roller Skates by Ruth Sawyer. Nope. 1938, The White Stag by Kate Sarity. Nope. 1939, Thimble Summer by Elizabeth Enright. Nope. 1940, Daniel Boone by James Daughtry. I don't think I read this one. 1941, Call It Courage by Armstrong Sperry. That one's an iffy one. I could have maybe read that one. The Match Lock Gun by Walter Edmonds in 1942. No, but I do see the honor book, Little Town on the Prairie. Ah, I can't look at honor books. Okay, 1942, Little Town on the Prairie. 1942 was an honor book, wow. Those were like old when I was reading them. 1943, Adam of the Road by Elizabeth, Jan by Elizabeth Janet Gray. I have not heard of that one. Johnny Treeman, 1944 by Esther Forbes. 
I have at least heard of this one. Now I cannot remember if I've read it. Rabbit Hill by Robert Lawson in 1945. I don't know that one. 1946, Strawberry Girl by Lois Lenski. I don't know that one either. 1947, Miss Hickory by Carolyn Sherwin Bailey. Nope. 1948, 21 Balloons. The 21 Balloons by William Penny Bois. Yes, I think I've read that one. 1949, King of the Wind by Marguerite Henry. Nope. The Door in the Wall by Marguerite, Marguerite de, Marguerite de Angeli. 1950, I've not. 1951, Amos Fortune, Free Man by Elizabeth Yates. No. Ginger Pie by Eleanor Estes, 1952. I think I have. These I don't remember like the stories very well, but 1953, Secret of the Andes by Anne Nolan Clark. I did not read. 1954, And Now Miguel by Joseph Crumbold. Nope. 1955, The Wheel on the School by Mendert de Jong. Nope. 1956, see, I told you it was going to be depressing. 1956, Carry On, Mr. Bowditch by Jean Lee Latham. I didn't read that one. Miracles on Maple Hill by Virginia Sorensen, 1957. I think I have read that one. 1958, Waffles for Waddy. Waddy? Waffles for Waddy by Harold Keith. Did not read. The Witch of Blackbird Pond, 1959 by Elizabeth George Spear. Yes. Onion John by Joseph Crumgold in 1960. I did not. Island of the Blue Dolphins by... Scott O'Dell in 1961. I read this one several times. I absolutely adore this book. Yes. The Bronze Bow by Elizabeth George Spear. I feel like I have this one downstairs in my library, but I don't think I've actually read it. So I'm not going to mark that one. I should read it because it's by the same person who did The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Mm. 1963, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Yes. Read that one. 1964, It's Like This Cat by Emily Neville. I think I read this one. Yes. 1965, Shadow of a Bull by Maya. I can't say that one. Did not read that one. 1966, I Want a Paraha. Paraha? Paraha? By Elizabeth Borton de Trevino. I did not read that one. Up Slowly by Irene Hunt. Did not read that one. 1968. Okay, here we go. These are the ones, I think. Maybe. From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler by E. L. Collinsberg. Yes, read that one. 1969 Medal Winner, The High King by Lloyd Alexander. I can't remember what books I've read from this series. So I'm putting a question mark by this one. 1970 Sounder, yes, by William H. Armstrong. 1971 Summer of the Swans by Betsy Breyers, I think so. 1972, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, Nim by Robert C. O'Brien, yes. Julie of the Wolves, 1973, by Jean Craighead George, yes, love that one. 1974, The Slave Dancer by Paula Fox, I think I still read that one. 1975, M.C. Higgins, The Great, by Virginia Hamilton, I don't remember reading that one. 1976, The Grey King by Susan Cooper, Still part of that Darkness Rising series, right? I don't remember. 1977, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred D. Taylor. Yes. 1978, Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Patterson. Yes. Catherine Patterson is going to come to our writing conference in May as the keynote speaker. 1978, The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. Yes, that's 79. That was 79, The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. 1980. A Gathering of Days, A New England Girl's Journal by Joan W. Bloss. I did not read this one. 1981. Jacob Have I Loved by Katherine Patterson. Yes. 1982. A Visit to William Blake's Inn, Poems for Innocent and Experienced Travelers by Nancy Willard. No, I don't think I've even heard of that one. 1983. Dicey Song by Cynthia Voigt. I have not heard of that one. 1984. Dear Mr. Henshaw by Beverly Cleary. Yes. 1985, The Hero and the Crown by Robin McKinley. Yes. 1986, Sarah Plain and Tall by Matricia McLaughlin. Yes. 1987, The Whipping Boy by Sid Fleischman. Yes, I think so. 1988, Lincoln, A 
photobiography by Russell Friedman. I don't think so. 1989, Joyful, no Joyful Noise, Poems for Two Voices by Paul Fleischman. No. Number the Stars by Lois Lowry in 1990. Yes. 1991, Maniac McGee by Jerry Spinelli. Yes. 1992, Shiloh by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. Yes. Just because I have them doesn't mean I've read them, but I think that because I have them, I think it makes me think I've read them, but I'm pretty sure I, oh, I don't know. Missing May by Cynthia Ryland in 1993. I don't think I read that one. The Giver by Lois Lowry. Yes, that's 1994. See, I feel like The Giver is an older book and I feel like The Little House on the Prairie is a younger book. It misses with your brain sometimes. Time does, you know what I'm saying? Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech, 1995. I, ha I read that one. The Midwife's Apprentice by Karen Cushman. I don't think I read that one. The View from Saturday by, by E.L. Coinsberg. I did read this one. That's 1997. 1998, Out of the Dust by Karen Hesse. I did read this one. Awesome book, that one. Holes by Louis Sakar. Yes, love. Bud Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis in, in 2000. I read, yes. A Year Down Yonder by Richard Peck in 2001. Yes. A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park, 2002. Yes. Love, love, love that book. Crispin, The Cross of Lead by Avi, 2003. Yes, you can tell. There was a time, there was a little clump of kind of when I was a kid and I was reading them. And then there's this other clump now when my kids are kids and I was reading them. Do you see this pattern? 2004. 2004. The Tale of Despero being the story of a mouse, a princess, some soup, and a spool of thread by Kate de Camillo. Camillo de Kate de Camillo. I don't know how to say her name. I think I read that one. Yes. Kira Kira by Cynthia Kadohata. I read that one in 2005. Yes. Crisscross by Lynn Ray Perkins. I feel like I read that one. Higher Power of Lucky by Susan Patron. I think I did read that one, yes. Good Masters, Sweet Ladies, Voices from a Medieval Village by, by Laura Amy Schiltz. I did not read this one. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Yes, I read that one. I was gonna say this is when we might have, have a flip again and I and then we'll get back to the ones I haven't heard of, the newer ones, okay? But maybe not quite yet. When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead. Love this one. Yes, I read it, 2010. 2011, Moon Over Manifest by Claire Vanderpool. I don't think I've read this one yet. I read her other one, but I haven't read this one yet. But it's on my, it's like on my shelf back there. I, I need to read that one soon. 2012 is The Dead End in Nor Norvelt by Jack Gantos. I think I read that one. The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate in 2013. I'm not sure. Um, 2014. Flora and Ulysses, The Illuminated Adventures by Kate Camilio. No, I did not read this one. The Crossover by Kwame Alexander, 2015. No. 2016, Last Stop on Market Street by Matt De La Pena. No. 2017, The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. No. 2018, Hello Universe by Aaron Entrada Kelly. No, we've made the shift. We've made the shift now. 2019, Mercy Suarez, Changes Gears by Meg Benina. I've not read that one. New Kid by Jerry Craft. Nope, that's 2020. 2021, When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. No. 2022, The Last Quentis Quentista. Quentista. The Last Quentista by Donna Barba. Higuera. I have not read. 2023, Free Water by Amina Lukman Dawson. I have not read. And the winner from this past, from this very, very brand new year, 2024, The Eyes and the Impossible by Dave Eggers. Not read. Okay, I just did some math and I think that there was 106 books ish on this list and I've read, what did I say? 37 of them. So here is a huge, lovely list of books to read if you are looking for something awesome and wonderful to read. I've heard that the ones from the earlier years are a little iffy in political correctness because, you know, there was no such thing back then and racism and that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of interesting to see the shift and how, how things that have been written for kids have changed 
over the years. It's another really interesting thing that my friends that are doing this project have said. And as like I said before, I have this clump of books I read when I was a kid and a clump of books I read when my kids were kids and when I was kind of blogging and then I have fallen off again. So those most recent ones, I definitely would love to add to my list. And I am really curious about some of the older ones, although I hear there are some of them are pretty hard to get through. But when you consider the honor books that are also on this list, I will put a link in the description of where I found this list on the website. It's really easy to print, you know, it's just a nice PDF. And uh, if you consider all these honor books, then you have got like hundreds of really awesome kids books to read here. Let me know how you did in this little exercise of what Newberry books we've read. And maybe you have read tons more than I have, which you probably have. And let me know which ones I should bump to the top of my list, especially those ones maybe in, in these more recent years. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.